now will be Dr. Thomas Martin the fourth. He is the founder of the Minion International. He is the International. Makofizake Tavala. Make your way to the Oh, you're going to ask us questions. Okay. Yes, okay. Questions of the day. So, gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Do you trust me? Yeah. Let's do this. A little bit. Oh, okay. <laughs> on, the, on what question now? Oh, the question is about probably speaking about your personal experience <coughs> and relating it or connecting it to how it has helped or significantly, sorry, helped in mindset, impacting either positively or negatively. Wow, that's a powerful question. How long do I have? <laughs> All right, we'll make this as quick as we can. Uh, by the way, Bon uh, Asafiwe, everybody. Yeah. All right, Mugunu Mwema, we know that. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna give honor to Daniel for being a bold man. Thank you. And I wanna speak, if I can, as a spiritual father. I wanna speak as a father. I wanna release here a father's blessing. Everybody lift your hands if you'd like some of that too. From, from God himself, from the boss. Your mind is, uh, is, is a many, uh, many often complicated place to live in. Because you have all these different winds of things and, and thoughts and thoughts from the devil, thoughts from other people. Thoughts from your subconscious mind that would even be like a realm of insecurity. How many ever thought you were going to do something great, but then you had all these things talking to you, not outside of yourself, inside of yourself? Let me see your hand. Fear, uh, intimidation, you know, you feel like, uh, how, can I, how can I get through? And uh, I, I want to just challenge everybody. The Bible talks about boldness. The righteous are bold as a lion. And I was reading this morning, the Holy Spirit had me turn to uh, uh, Exodus 33, which is the, Deuteronomy 33 rather, where it was, it was the blessing of Moses. He began to speak over the tribes. Now this was God also encouraging people to do everything you want to do. I want to say something else. We have limited time. You only have so much time on this earth to accomplish everything you want. So you want to start now. So make the decision, stick with it, flip the switch on, and don't switch it off again. And God is waiting sometimes way down the road. Success is waiting way down the road. It's already there waiting for us saying, are you coming or not? It's all based on what we think about here. You can't procrastinate. Procrastination is tied to fear. Procrastination is a thief. It steals the opportunity from you, yes? So, you, you, you had all these thoughts. Who's coming? Is it going to work out? I know you feel all the butterflies of all that, you know. Is, am I, do, am I, do I need more time? And all this goes through your head. No, look, the room is full, okay? Next time we get a bigger venue. Yes? Clap your hands. So, it's a raving success. And this man went out to, to, to write a book with this great title about the mindset determines your, your mind. What's in your mind flowing through your mind determines how you live. That's ultimately a biblical principle from Proverbs 23, 7. As one thinks in their hearts, so are they. And I want to tell you, you can never rise above the level of you. You can never rise above the level of how you are inside yourself, how you see yourself. God, I want to give you a little, this is a little bit powerful, it's a little bit, this is an advanced class now we're going into for a minute here. God sees us as kings. 
He sees the ladies as queens. He sees the babies as princes and princesses. He said, you're my royal priesthood. Revelation 1.6 said, I've made you kings and priests unto the Most High. And then we have the power of the attributes of what Jesus took back. Revelation 5.12, quickly. And Deuteronomy 1.11. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding, counsel, strength, and also power and riches. Jesus wanted to give us power and riches. In the first chapter of the first book of the Bible, in the 26th verse, the scripture says, I made you after mine own image, after my own likeness, and I want you to have dominion. Right? So what are we doing? Are we doing that? Not enough. Look at the life of Solomon and David. Are we living like them? Not enough. So God's challenging us, challenging us and saying, come on. Come on, wave your hand like this as if like a prophetic act saying, God, God is saying this. Come on, I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. So deal with this thing. Deal with this head. Tell it to be quiet. Tell the devil to shut up. Get away from negative people and toxic people. And get into people that celebrate your life. You need celebration, not toleration. You need people that embrace you for who you are and the greatness that you carry from God. Yes? Are you happy? Yes. More coming. Okay. I'll, I'll pause there. An abundance, wealth of wisdom, I can see. So, so probably building onto that now, so I'll repeat the question again. Yes. It's basically you sharing with us from your experience again. Uh, how does mindset, or rather how did it influence your behavior uh, leading to your success in your current lifestyle? Wow. Um, I, I want to just add something to, uh, from a different topic, a different frame to answer the question. Uh, we, we need to follow the plan of God. We need to find, follow the plan of why we were born. We need to know the gift and talents that we have. These dictate to us about where we're going to go next. And one thing I found out, the only thing, more than anything else, that you need to know all the time in life is what to do next. Every millisecond, what do I do next? You have a thought, what do I do next? God speaks, gives you an instruction, shows you who you are, what do I do next? You know, and it's like, uh, in God's mind, he's very, I, if he were to be angry with us, he could be very angry with us as people. <laughs> Because we've, 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 we've negated so many things. We've hesitated. We've disobeyed him so many times. That's why, you know, lately I'm speaking so much about the repentance prayers. Not that I'm into the repentance thing so much. But lately I feel, Lord, forgive us of everything that we did that we weren't supposed to do. And forgive us of everything, uh, the sins I call them, sins of omission and commission. Whatever it is I was supposed to do that I didn't do yet, let, give me a chance to do it now. Whatever I did that wasn't right, whatever mistake I made, whatever decision I made that was not correct, whoever I trusted that was the wrong person. Do you know, your only uh, source of failure, mainly, is comes from trusting the wrong person, taking a wrong turn. We see in the Bible, Jehoshaphat was a very rich man. He was, in fact, a billionaire. U.S. dollars, British pounds, euros. Jehoshaphat was a billionaire. By the way, so was Solomon, trillionaire. So was David, multi-billionaire. Abraham was estimated to be worth over 200 billion U.S. dollars. How many trillions of shillings is that? Who do you know in Nairobi as rich as somebody can be that has 200 billion dollars? Not shillings now. Shillings is 200 billion shillings is okay. I'll take it. Praise the Lord. I could do a lot with that. So, you know, like the universe we call the, I don't like the word the universe so much. Let's say the earth and everything that's on it. Because the Bible doesn't speak about, you know, the universe has this thing. That's all these other philosophies that people have. Just talk about the earth. God said, I made the earth for you. Now, what are you going to do to go get it? You have to have this tenacity and passion in you to go after it. Yes? Am I answering a little bit? Now, but I'm bringing a few things here. Because 
We can't just say, I made a decision, and I thought of something good, you know, bravo to me. God says, what are you, self-righteous now? I had the bigger plan for you all the time. You're just now discovering it. So let me talk to the young people, too, people that are younger than me, which probably every, almost everybody might be <laughs> here today. <laughs> I was sitting in the back feeling like, am I, oh, Lord, I love listening to the young people. <laughs> yeah, amen. And our brother here with your whole song thing, and I was just like, wow, where am I at? This is wonderful. But let me, let me talk to the young people. Get on with it right now. Lift your hand. Close your eyes right now. Let's pray. Just, just one minute. Let's pray. Let's pray together. Just talk to the Lord right now. Say, Father, I will do. Say, Father, I will do everything you want of me. Everything you put in my heart. I'll begin today in a new way. In Jesus' name. So be it. Now, the Holy Spirit will begin to send angels around you and people to you. How many believe for the best connections, the best favor, the best open doors? You need to have those. So the, the decisions you make must be based upon purpose. Yeah? And I've done that. I've done that. And I want, but I feel like I've, there's a lot more I need to do. So put your hand on your head right now and say, Lord, help this mind of mine to get straight. Your mindset is your life set. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My mind, my mind. Help this mind of mine. Help this heart of mine. Help the, this decision-making ability. Put it in me, Lord. In Jesus' name. Very well said. Very powerful and challenging, yes? 3 a.m., 5 a.m. How many businesses do I have? My children, my prayer time. Wow. I have church in my house. You guys are, you guys are superstars. Yeah. Well, me, I brought my Bible. Like you talked about the Bible, and I brought my, I brought my, I brought my bookmarkers of the Kenyan animals, and I even have, I even brought a, a flag from my desk. You may recognize the flag. Anyway. Uh, my, my life is very interesting. I, I'm, I'm juggling so many things internationally, so I'm really around the clock. I'm really a 24-hour person. I sleep when I can, I work when I can, I do events all the time. Every day I'm in another event, and it's just uh, it's too much. It's too much. Yesterday I was a little bit complaining to one of my administrative managers. I had a little meeting on the way back, and I was kept by so many meetings until almost 9 in the night. Anyway, then we went on. But uh, the, the, I, I feel like a week can go by and it feels like two months, you know? And so I have a very interesting life like that. But I'm, I'm busy, but I want to be more busy. I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I tell you the truth. I don't feel like I'm doing enough. I don't. Paul Enenche, my friend in, in Abuja, Nigeria, he has the largest church facility on planet Earth. Inside his building seats 100,000 people inside. And it'll be packed full and pe there are thousands of people outside uh, every service. And uh, uh, his, the, the roof is 293 meters long. It costs millions and millions of dollars just to build the building. And he said, he was asked, do you feel successful? Do you feel like you've done enough? He said, no, I feel like I'm only getting started. Yet he's built the largest thing on the earth, you see. So there's always more. Now, two, two principles. I want to uh, redeem back some of my time since I gave a long answer on the second one. And you so reminded me of that. Let me, let me, let me uh, like on the Congress floor, I yield my time to the next. Let me yield some of my time. Two things I want to say. Your, the secret of your future is hidden in your daily routine. Yeah. Somebody write that down. That's from my dear friend, Dr. Mike Murdoch, who's my dear friend. A great mentor of mine and a dear personal friend for many, many decades, three decades now we've known each other. The secret of my future is hidden in my daily routine. Number two, next one and I'm done. Uh, a a multi-millionaire businessman was asked a question. He said, what do you... Uh, how, how do you explain, like, you, sh you shoot up, like, from one year you were doing nothing, and then all of a sudden you shot, you shot up to a higher level? 
He said it was found in all the work I didn't want to do before. It, the success I have attained lately is, was found in the work I did now that I didn't want to do before. There's things and projects that are more important in the realm of priority that you need to take time on. And if you do those, you'll succeed in a greater way. So your, your daily life is also uh, like 24 gold uh, uh, treasure boxes each hour. Let's begin to analyze the hour, hour by hour, day by day, we're making progress. Yes? All right, I'm Thomas Matthew IV and I approve this message. <laughs> Everybody give yourself a hand. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, I just want to, and very quickly, I want to speak three things over your life. Can you just put your hand up in the air, just say, I'm ready to receive this. And these are prophetic, okay, these are prophetic. These are prophetic. These are prophetic. Uh, number one, that you will discover, as our beloved Daniel said from my book, uh, Prophetic Keys to Successful Living, yes, that you don't choose your calling, you discover it. Now, I call it the five Ds. Number one is you, you discern, which means to see. Then you discover, which means you find out about. Then you decide to do it then that becomes your destiny fulfilled. Five Ds. Discern, which is sight. Discover, which is the process of discovery. Speaks, you can understand the word. Decide, the decision to do it. Number four, do. And five, that becomes your destiny. And uh, so this, this is a process. Now three things I want to say. Uh, number one, that God will show you exactly what it is you were put on the earth for. You have a great talent in you. Every single person has a great talent. There's a specific thing that you're gifted at that nobody can do it like you can do it. And your uniqueness is your greatness, not your similarity to another. It's your uniqueness. So don't try to be like everybody else, follow the culture, follow the trends, follow the traditions. Do, do what nobody else has done. If you want to be great in the earth, someone will have to see you in a different light. Yes, number two, that God will, will supernaturally connect you with the right people and disconnect you from the wrong people. And number three, that you will make the perfect decisions to prioritize everything that he's ordained, even from a new way today, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Uh, I have in my hand a book that I painstakingly wrote uh, over some time, and it's an A to Z on success. And I just want to talk to you for a minute about success. Uh, first of all, in the Bible, in Isaiah 48, 17, he's, the Lord said through Isaiah, I am the Lord, your God, who teaches you to profit and leads you in the way that you should go. Now, if you don't know where you're going first, how are you gonna get there? You know, when the heart decides the destination, the mind and the things you arrange will create the roadmap on how to get there. So it first starts right in here, but the heart of God for us all is to have great success and also great wealth. As I mentioned that the patriarchs in the Bible, we're all wealthy men financially. In fact, they were multi-billionaires. Can I shock you? Job's camels were worth billions in today's money. They were the transport of the day. In Saudi Arabia, they'll sell a prize camel for a million three to 2.7 million at auction. One of them, I think it was a double humped camel, a prize one sold for 2.7 million US dollars at auction. Job had 3,000. Now God gives him double, he has 6,000. 6,000, even if you want to take the lower number, 6,000 times 1.3 million US dollars is, drum roll, 9.9 .9 billion US dollars. If you, now, even if you're off on the price, 
it's still too many zeros to argue with. Okay, so God thought enough, amen. God thought enough of his, uh, his people to bless them. I looked at, I saw it again this morning in, in uh, Deuteronomy 33, the, the last prayer of Moses, and it talked about the treasure that was there. In Isaiah chapter 2, it says, the land is filled with treasures. Right? So how, how are we not getting them? Because we, we don't have the right viewpoint on how to become successful. So, all right, I want to just read a couple of quick here, things here. Now, I want to talk about other communities. Other communities, they're pooling their monies together, and they're building buildings all over Nairobi. There's three ethnic groups, but one of them, hmm, of the three, is not you. <laughs> Take a guess. One of the three is not me, but I want to get into it somehow. The curse of... Brother, you're blocking the video now. <laughs> Put your head down. The curse of the church is individualism. Everybody wants to fight each other. I'm, I have, want to have my church. I want to do better than you. Even when people begin to rise in business, you know, I'm sure you've learned in certain circles, uh, my brother, not to talk a lot because people will be just jealous of you and hate you and then they want to devise things to knock you off. Why are we like that? Other communities are not like that. They're all putting each other up. The, the new mall in some place over there on the east side of the, of the town, they had the president of their country come in and the media didn't report it. It was blacked out. But they went and did it. They opened it up. These people are moving. They're moving every day from morning to night. Why? Because they have community. So one of the keys is Psalm 133 says, where there's unity, I command my blessing there. We need to become unified. And this is a real move of God in our day. I have so little time. But uh, true success will ultimately be in hearing the Lord say to us, well done, my good and faithful servant. And also, another point, you need to have a palace to rule from. Where is it? Where's your palace? A king has to have a palace. A queen has to have a palace. Hello. So God even wants us to build empires within his big empire. Another thing, you can't run fast forward with uh, the, the luggage of, the spiritual luggage of yesterday's seasons on your back. There's a man in the Bible named Manasseh, M-A-N-A-S-S-E-H. Uh, it was a prophetic name. It, means the, it meant the Lord made me to forget my trouble. Some things we need to forget if we're going to move forward. But God has only success for you. I have so many more in this. Uh, please do buy the uh, Mindset book today. And if you like this, you can let me know how you'd like to get a copy of it. I'd also be glad to serve you in that way. Show, here's another thing about the daily routine. Show, here it is. It's amazing. It's, I didn't even remember this was here. And I, and I wrote the book. It's the Holy Spirit gets all the glory. Thank you. One second. Show me your daily routine. And I'll show you your eventuality. I'm Thomas Manton IV. I have to constrain myself and go. More later. Can you blow me a kiss? Oh, I feel the love. Can, can we blow Jesus one? Can we blow Daniel one? Where'd he go? There he is. God bless you, son. Love you. Praise the Lord. Can we all lift our hands? I just want to prophesy a blessing over everybody here. And this was just great. I tell you, I think this was, uh, everybody would say this is better than we thought it would be. Yes? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful occasion. I want to bless you with the Father's blessing. He said in, uh, you know, I, I'll cause my countenance to be lifted up over you and my face to shine, my light to shine upon you. But I want to say this. He said to give you peace, but also I, I like to add to that power and prosperity and also great progress. I want to speak that over every business. The Lord says you're going to go from millions to billions one day. The Lord says you're going to go from thousands to hundreds of them and then to millions. And God says you, there's no limit to what you can accomplish. Dear, I heard the word of the Lord, Sister Tina, I heard the word of the Lord. You're going to be a great presenter a great media personality. God has gifted you and graced you. The doors will open one by one. The Lord says, get yourself ready. 
all in every department of your life because God is taking you into great power and great prominence. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your son. Everybody stretch your hand out toward uh, our dear beloved Daniel. We thank you, Lord, that his business will prosper. I see a new location for you. I see a new location. I, where you are now is not where you're going to be. I see a greater space and a greater place. The Lord said he's opening it up for you. And Father, upon this great family, I was so touched by the prayer of the father and the mother over that. We need to do that more. I was blessed coming here. I want to say this. I want to have a follow-up time that one day we can have a catered event and I'll invite you all as my guests. Yeah. And come eat to your heart's content. And it will be first class. It will not be like some normal, typical thing. I want to invite everybody. Uh, I can't say the day, time, the day and the time right now, but we'll do it. All right? And uh, our social media channels can all be found through my website, thomasmanton.com. I'm so honored that you said my name about 10 times in this event. So you all, I think, it's been on the screen and everywhere, so I think you got it. thomasmanton.com, and you'll see all of our channels there. Dear, bless you, you're beaming with the fire of God. When I was listening to you speak, I was touched in my spirit. The Lord's taken you far. There's some great people in here. Oh, my God. My brother here, lift your hands. The favor, the favor of Almighty God in business, ideas that you have only had in your mind, but you haven't even spoken to some. The Lord says, I'm getting ready to make them manifest now. You're going to begin to see the enterprise. You're going to birth a great enterprise, and you have to watch who's around you. Because not everybody has your back. Not everybody has your best interests at heart. The Lord says, fly alone if you must, but you're going to fly very high and very far. I see into, my brother, I see international partnership Amen. coming with other countries. Amen. I don't know I'm seeing some European countries that are not the two you mentioned, but other, even other ones. Amen. And even something in the Far East and even something in the Middle East. And also across Africa, the expansion is coming to you. The Lord says, I see you, it says, says, pay more, pays more, the sign of that. But I, hear, I see this, the, the word here, and I see like pay master. You're going, to be a pay, you're going to be a financier of the kingdom of God in great amounts. So the, the Lord says, the more you give, the more you'll get back, and you'll have so much you won't know what to do with it. God said he's going to touch your heart to become a partner of great anointings that are really causing impact. And God says, you're going to be so wealthy. Amen. The day is coming soon. You're going to shake your head and cry and say, God, how did I get here? Amen. But you are going there. Amen. Says the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Wow. I feel the presence of God beginning to fall here right now. Just, just something's happening. Can you feel the atmosphere changing in the room? Let's lift our hands. Oh, just like the, the angels just walked in here. Father, as we go from this place tonight, let us walk into a, a greater day of purpose. Let the dreams become reality of what you've ordained for each person. Wow. Businesses. How many, how many, yeah, Lord. How many want to go into business? You want to birth a greater business enterprise than you've had? Lift your hands right now. The Lord says, I'll bless it if you give it to me. If you do things my way, I'll bless you in abundance. We always have to remember the biblical economic system of the tithe, the offering, the be becoming a generous person. Proverbs 11.25 said the generous one will become like a well-watered garden. The generous person will become a blessed life in motion. And I thank you, Lord, for blessing upon this thing on the companies, on the book sales, you know, I see like four other books in you coming out that'll make this five in total. They're going to be one by one. God says the day will come when you'll forget it. You'll almost forget about this one. It's big now, but you'll write other ones, and then the excitement will be on that. And the launch, and the launch, and, the, and this place is already too small. This is a one-off. Next time you got to get You can't come back here again. No, 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 no. This is, this is, a, this is a one-time thing. Thank you, Lord, for expansion in the nation of Kenya, for the beloved people of the soil. 
breakthrough into great prosperity. That's what's coming in the church in these days. Great prosperity upon people that are walking according to the plan of God. Great prosperity for people that love him and love his purpose. Father, we thank you for, t for tonight, for this night. Wow, I feel the anointing here. As we go out to take some pictures, let us have some more fellowship before we get out of here. But I, I feel like the Lord is shifting, shifting things for you in your mind, in your life, in your spirit. He's turning over the page. He's opening up new doors. He's flipping the switch on to something new. And the Lord says, forget about what was and press on toward what is. In summation, Isaiah 43, 18, consider not the things of old. Don't remember the former things. Because behold, I'm going to do a new thing, says the Lord, and shall it not now spring forth. And I'll even make rivers to run in the wilderness and in the dry places. It doesn't matter what you see around you. It matters what's happening in you. And we thank you, Lord, for this deposit and touch from you upon this meeting today with all of us here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you online. We'll see you again. You know, and I just uh, love meeting you all. Amen. I'm serious. I feel, I feel, I feel good. I've had a, a crazy schedule. I'm a little tired, but I'm all right. I'm working hard for the boss, you know? But I'm blessed being here. I'm telling you the truth. I, I'm just sitting here. I'm like, wow, these people, look at them. This is wonderful. Let's lift our hands and thank the Lord for today. Ooh, we worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Father. Holy Spirit, touch us all tonight as we're going. Touch us all. I feel the Holy Ghost here right now, I'm telling you. Touch us right now with a fresh fire, fresh visitation from you. Every house, every business, every, every dream, every enterprise, blessed by you, Lord, in a new way from this moment right now, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's clap again for our beloved family. We love you, man. We love you.